Hey everyone, it's me, Pastor Mark, and we're digging into the Sermon on the Mount this month. wanted to take a moment here uh, just to talk a little bit more about uh, one of the passages here in the Sermon on the Mount. <clears throat> I want us to look at the, the last full passage of teaching uh, in chapter 7, uh, kind of the culmination of the whole sermon. Uh, it, chapter 7, verses 24 through 27 says this, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Now we've all heard this passage, maybe not... Uh, <clears throat> the the exact passage, but we all know the song. The wise man built his house upon the rock. Um, <clears throat> but this is very significant. Uh, Jesus finishing his sermon here, whether this is one sermon or or a bunch of teaching all grouped together, there, it's intentional that this is the last thing said in this group of teaching. He ends here, we have this last piece here on purpose because he wants us to know that your life has got to be built on the Word of God. Our, our lives have to be built on the Word of God. If we start with the Word of God and we go off and live our life based on what the world thinks and what we've been taught and what our parents think or what our friends think or what colleges think or what the schools think or what anybody else is, else thinks and don't base our life on what God says we are a foolish foolish man so first of all that's the first thing we need to understand is we've got to build our life on the solid foundation the solid rock of the Word of God it does not return void it is not uh, to be uh, taken away. Uh, heaven and earth will pass away before God's word passes away. God is faithful to do exactly what he says. So we have to start there. We have to start with the fact that we have to build our life on God's word. But there's also something else here in this passage that I, I think is very significant and I want he, to give you uh, as we've been reading this month. And maybe you've already seen this, but as you go through through this passage, you see two different people. You see a wise man who built his his house on the rock, who built his life on the uh, the solid rock foundation of the word, and then you have the other man, the foolish man who does not. But you don't have two different situations. Although we may follow Christ and do His word and and do His will according to His word, then. That doesn't mean our life is all peaches and cream and pleasant and, oh, everything's going to be great now that I'm following God. It'll be right. D don't mistake that. You will be doing what honors God, but don't think for a moment that because of you following Him that your life is going to be great all of a sudden. Now, you can have joy and you can uh, have a uh, peace and a hope through all of the things, but you've got to see here both people despite what they believe and what they're living towards and living for, they both go through the same things. It says the, the, the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. The storms of life will come. It doesn't matter who you are. What matters is what keeps you secure. What you have based your life on because if you are founded on the word of God then as you go through those storms you have peace and hope and joy that can't be explained by anything else but if you're not then your life is full of brokenness and you look for all sorts of different kinds of ways to escape that brokenness but until you come to the word of God your house will fall so let that be uh, an encouragement or a warning for you this week uh, to f firmly place your life wholly on God's Word. If you're facing a problem, you're facing a difficulty, you don't know where to go next, you don't know what to do next, 
start here. He has the answers for us. He has everything we need for life and godliness, everything we need to know on how to deal with things in our life, uh, how to please him with our life uh, is right here in the pages of scripture. So I pray that you'd be blessed this week as we continue to finish strong, uh, reading, reading the Sermon on the Mount every day. Um, I'm going to be honest, I've, I've missed a couple more days, but again, because we're doing this method, we continue to get right back in at the next day. And I, I don't know about you, but this month, as we've come closer to the end, uh, I, I know more and I feel like this word is hidden in my heart much better than it was at the beginning. Uh, so let's continue to dig in together. We'll see you next time.